Okay, so we are studying, of course, what is artificial intelligence. Now, when you talk about artificial intelligence, one thing which dramatically changes is what we say is the definition itself of the course. So yes, you can say software engineering is engineering software. You don't usually get very good marks for saying that, but that's probably correct. You could also say graphics and visual computing is nothing but the computing or the algorithms which are behind all kind of graphical processing and dealing with images and videos. However, one thing which till the end of the course I'll never touch upon is, is artificial intelligence making in a uh, human intel like intelligence which is created artificial it kind of solves kind of not solves because the moment i touch upon this definition i will have to define what is intelligence and believe me that's a bad thing to do because it's completely philosophy uh, we realized that after the subject name became extremely popular that probably we don't want to get into those philosophical domains and philosophical debates still very active in these schools of philosophy. What we will say is that artificial intelligence is making some kind of decisions by the machine. So. You are an intelligent agent and to be fair to you, you made a very great decision in your life, which is to take admission at IIIT Allahabad. That's why you're here looking at me and taking the scores. So you've taken some kind of a decision in life. Can we make in machines which take in a similar decision and of course if it's just about making decision you could say hey very simple let's do a very obvious and a extremely simple thing which is let's make in random decisions and hey we make in decisions not that great but it's still making decisions now we just don't want to make in any decisions. We want to make decisions which are correct or the best decision or called as the rational decision. So I'm making a paradigm shift over here. Now I'm saying that, hey, this was a very good decision. This was a very bad decision and so on and so forth. Now what we really need to be doing is we need to have some way in which we can say that hey man the decision that we took was absolutely very good it worked for us we became billionaires by taking that decision most of you will get very fancy jobs and of course that's a good decision however a care must be given that a rational decision may not always be 100% correct and it's important to understand why. Classic example, I say that I'm gonna have a coin and I'll toss it up. Everybody say whether I'll get a head or I will get a tail. Now. It doesn't matter what you say. Typical answer, 50% probability of having head, 50% probability of having tails. Imagine the Indian cricket captain saying that to the referee of a match. The referee will be like, that's not a valid decision. Forget about random. So of course, here you need to make in a decision which is completely random, which is to either say a head or a tail. You may say a head and a tail may come. That's not a correct decision, but it's still rational. So 
Rationality, which is extremely important for us, says that you need to, of course, make in the best decisions to the problem that you are given under the constraints that you may have a limited knowledge. And that's, of course, extremely interesting. So all of you are at home. So I ask you, where is your mother? Is she in the kitchen preparing something very interesting for you? I hope she is. Or if she is just in the living room watching her favorite serials, I hear most of them have resumed, which is keeping mothers busy. Very good. So you don't really know about it because the moment you get out and you see your mother at either of these places, you'll be able to say, but right now, out of all the places that she probably visits, you'll have to make in a decision out of that. Yes, you know that it's, I'm not sure what time you are watching this video. So let's say it's 8 p.m. when a very good daily soap comes on the television by her definition, not by your definition. And therefore the living room probability is very high. So you know that, but for certainty, you cannot really answer what is the true or the correct answer. And therefore we say that a computer or a machine in artificial intelligence is not supposed to make 100% correct decisions. Only God can do that and therefore a machine that does so is sometimes called as a oracle or it's called as a omniscience. And that's something that only God can have. So the machines are no God and the machines do not know what's the outcome. So because of different kinds of a uh, limited knowledge, you might really be into a situation that you can only make an intelligent guess because you have limited knowledge of the world. And therefore we say that in artificial intelligence, of course, the machines don't make 100% correct decisions. We say machines make the decisions which have the most expected returns. So the word is expected over here. Of course, if you've forgotten the old days when you use the term, it has got to do with probability. So you maximize your expected returns given a problem and therefore AI is a bad term. So many people, including me, so what will be a course called which just says we need to make in some nice rational decisions. So computational because we're doing computing and we need to make nice rational decisions, rationality, which is a more representative name. So in this course, all we'll be doing is to make in some very nice algorithms, which try to maximize your expected returns, make intelligent decisions. We'll not go into the debate of what really a uh, artificial intelligence is and what is intelligent, what is not. So now let's go a bit further into our discussions and say what will my complete system look like in artificial intelligence. So in artificial intelligence, we deal with something which is called as the environment. And remember, this is AI, so we're talking about a physical real environment where physical agents are there. Of course, you could have video games, which are typically completely digital simulations with a simulated being. However, here we'll say that 
For the discussions of it, there is a physical environment. It has physical entities. For uh, self-driving cars, it has all the roads, it has all the trees, it has all the cows that work in India. For the robots which pick up, pack and give your parcel, it is all the parcels around, the physical warehousing facilities, the cardboard. So any physical thing is what we say is the environment. So that's a real world. Now we also have something which is a digital world called as the agent. So agent is simply said your computer software, your computer program, your interesting questions that you'll be solving it as a part of the lab component of this course. Now, the moment I say it's a program, computer science basics, what does a program have? Every program, it does just two things. Number one, it takes input. Number two, it processes the inputs to produce the output, which is shown onto the screen, printed on the printer, given as whatever was the requirement. So the agent will interact with the environment to get the inputs that it needs. I also deal with robotics, one of the very common question that so I wrote a Hello World program. How is it different from programming in robots? Of course, a robotic agent is also an intelligent agent. It takes its input from real world. It could be the microphone which is recording my voice. It could be the physical sensors on the real robot, all the lidars, all the radars, and all those things. These days people are talking about diagnosis of COVID-19. It could be the chest x-ray as an image. So every agent will have something which is called as the sensor through which it will take inputs from the environment. And of course, you'll have a lot of signal, digital signal processing, image processing all the way around over here, about which I'll be talking in a few minutes. But once you know the decision that yes, that's what you need to do, then you need to communicate, you need to tell the environment of your decision and that's done by something called as the actuator. So sensor is something that senses the environment, senses the world around. Otherwise for a program, how would you know the inputs? You cannot say scan F percentage D and percent N. Nowhere anybody from the environment is gonna enter N. So you take inputs from real life environment, be it the microphone, be it the camera. I luckily have all of them right in front of me. That's how examples are coming. Had it been class, it would have been difficult. Or be it x-ray scans, ECG machines for medical diagnosis, the distance sensor of a robot, the stereo vision camera or anything. And once you process any kind of a decision, you act on the world based on an actuator. It could be the wheels of a mo mobile robot. It could be the arm of the robot moving. It could be you just telling the user on the speaker that, hey dude, you are so concerned of coronavirus. I have a good news for you. You are completely free of the disease. Go enjoy. Do not go outside. So every agent will make a decision and communicate to the environment. Now, it's not a coincidence that you see a cycle. So whenever we talk about AI, it's not that you'll make in one decision and AI will happily sleep for the entire life. No, AI keeps on working. So let's take the easiest example, a robot. So looking at who's around, 
the robot makes a decision that, hey, I see a cool professor Rahul Kala around. Let me just go to him. So the robot takes a step towards me. He looks at me and says that, okay, there's Rahul Kala still there. Let me take another step. Rahul Kala still there. Let me take another step. Oh my God, Rahul Kala walked away. So, let me not just go to him, let me do my regular work of guarding the CC1 building. So, it's all continuous, it's all in a loop. So, similarly, if you have a chatbot, you'll type something, it'll go as text stream to the intelligent agent, and the agent will type out something, so whatever comes out is the actuator. Weird example, text input, text output, old school, I hate it. I like it, the speech-to-speech -speech interaction, microphone input and speaker output. But then the agent will still say something. So if you have a smartphone and you ask your voice assistant, I'm trying to take not take proprietary names on a public platform. So you say, hey, intelligent agent, I want to know the distance from my institute to like the Alhaba to a popular place, several lines, it says, and then you say, okay, what if I, instead of a cab, take a bicycle? You'll say, fetch, good for you. And of course, now you don't need to repeat the old information, it's already there. So, Today it might be a bit surprising, but all that we will be talking about is everything up onto your screen, except for one entity which I did not write, it's called as the performance measure. And remember, it's extremely important and a lot of people neglect it. So, I said AI is about making ravishingly good decisions. That's what we do. Now, what's a good decision? It's the one that maximizes expected returns as per this performance measure. Now, an interesting question that I would assume will be very in uh, you all would be going through. So somewhere is on the other side of the screen a young boy who is watching this video lying down on the bed with a pack of crisps in hand and with a soft drink in the other, other very bad for your health. But you do do that. Uh, somewhere there might be a girl watching it onto the desk, making notes. So, which is the intelligent agent? I said humans are intelligent. Is the boy intelligent? Is the girl intelligent? And if the two are both intelligent, then why are they acting in the opposite manner? So, the performance measure of everybody is different. So, somebody is probably watching this video to get great grades, somebody is watching to actually learn about it and make great projects, and somewhere is someone ambitious who told the parents, after watching AI, I will cure COVID-19 with my AI knowledge. Uh, by the way, that can be one of the questions in the assessments. It could be one of the projects. So, everybody has a different performance measure. That performance measure also changes with time. So, probably as a youngster, you want to roam around. That's your performance measure. At someone of my age, you just want to lie down and relax. The performance measure also changes with what context you are at. And that's the beauty of life, to be honest. Everybody is intelligent, it's just that they are operating from a different performance measure 
and together it's called as the P, E, A, and S of problem modeling. So let's take in a very quick example of the P, E, A, S. I've only taken that up. I can be quick. So you interacting with a chat bot, the sensor is the microphone, the actuator is the speaker, the environment is your physical master who spent a lot of money buying the software and the hardware, and the performance measure is of course to give in relevant and correct answers, not just say how much is the distance between Triple IT Allahabad and several lines. I don't know, but AI is a very good course. Okay, I love that answer. My performance measure gives that 100%. Now, uh, similarly, robots moving around in warehouses, the physical warehouse is the environment, the distance sensor, image sensors, and all the complex sensors are the sensors, the wheels are the actuator. Performance measure is typically either going to where it wants to go in shortest time or going to what it has to do in the most efficient or in the most power efficient or the most time efficient or the most distance efficient way. So if you use Google Maps, of course, you would know that even for traveling around the city, you could minimize distance, you could minimize time, it's not the same. You could maximize speed, speed trails. Poor man, you could minimize stalls, you could minimize the potholes, very bad in India. You could minimize traveling around your ex who just dumped you. Bad idea to go around the same lane. So everybody has a different environment measure for sure.